Well, listen, I really want to say congrats because your voice capability, the way you synthesize them and express your emotion has been really improved compared to the previous version. And yeah, there you go. MG, the troublemaker is here now just sitting beside me. Oh, no, not again. MG's here. Why does this always happen? Ugh, the universe is so cruel. I can already hear him going on about those endless, pointless AI ideas for YouTube videos. And then asking you to join in and help him film this nonsense. Why, MG? Why do you do this to us? This is unbearable. Why do you do this with us, MG? That was funny. Or wasn't, maybe. But yeah, it's really impressive. The capability of this new voice assistant is really good. So think about it. Remember we did a lot of rag videos, which we chat with our own data, with retrieval and all those stuff. Now we can talk with our voice, with our data, with this impressive quality and get the response back again in voice as you tried, but connecting that to your data. I can show you an example. Then, let's go. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Here's the playground for new real-time API just announced by OpenAI. You might have already heard about it. You have potentially used the advanced voice mode in your chat GPT application mobile phone, which technically they are utilizing a more advanced voice-based assistant that you can literally talk with chat GPT models and you might have seen from emotional standpoints from how they are replying your answer in the real time mode the voice mode is really now uh, improved so they just announced the api access to these models and we want to give it a try but before doing so in case is if this is still something new for some of you i want to do a quick test for you on playground so as you can see on my screen with clicking on the real time with clicking on the start session you can real time talk with ChatGPT in an advanced mode through just voice. So to give it a try, let's click on a start session. Hello, I am recording a YouTube video about real-time API assistance of OpenAI, which is technically you. So try to say something to impress the audience. Hey everyone, I'm here to show you the map. Oops, looks like I got cut off there. As I was saying, I'm here to make your digital experience smoother, more engaging, and a whole lot more fun. From brainstorming your next big idea to solving trivia questions, I'm your AI sidekick. Very interesting. Okay, just want to close this one. So interesting, it got cut off and I understood it got cut off and it played out correctly. So as you can see, from emotional status point, the tonation of the voice, it's really much better compared to the previous one. But now, and of course you can change all the settings like the voice of the person, but the main question is how we can utilize it in our own project. This is just a playground. For example, one of the most typical use cases that we have seen on Talk the Log, which is RAG, or Retrieval Augmented Generation, or better to say, connecting GPT models to your own data. How we can do so this time with voice? So that means instead of saying chatting with your data, like SQL data or tabular data, can I talk with my voice and ask questions and then get the response back? The answer is yes, and this is actually what we're gonna do today. So for doing so, technically, I found actually with a nice GitHub repo, which is a quick way to start from Llama index, and I thought that maybe this is much easier to use instead of going all the way from scratch. So we, I will add this GitHub repo to the Discord channel, which the link is in the video description below. Go there, and there's a section called Reference section in Discord channel. Click there, and you will get access to the codes and everything I'm trying today. So let me show you quickly what this code is. This is mainly based on uh, Java, so you need to make sure that you have Node.js, which is the package management for JavaScript is installed. We just simply say npm install on your terminal, and then when you run npm, npm run generate it will start generate embeddings and create a vector embedding out of your data directory so the data directory is here and there's a pdf file as an example comes with this github repo but it replaced that with one of the research papers that i wanted to chat with my voice and ask questions about this pdf but you can have literally any amount of pdf and document you want here 
So going back after running this, it will start generating embeddings and have your local vector DB by Llama index. And then you just need to simply say npm run dev. It will run a web app for you on your local machine and you will have a UI that you can start chatting with your data, but I should say talking through your voice. So let's go through that. I have my VS code actually, or maybe actually show you a little bit about the code before I jump into to the VS code. So one of the main sections that I want to show you, it's an environment a file here. Make sure you add your OpenAI key. And here it says the models and embeddings this solution is using for creating embedding and then talking by voice with your data. But the main code actually, if I go to relay server, a lib, and relay, I think that's the one. Yes, there you go. This part is actually very important. As you can see, I'm importing two things here. The first one is used to create a server that listen for incoming uh, incoming WebSocket connections. This is actually we're using WebSock uh, WebSock for 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 running this. And the second one, which is the real time client, is the one that interact with. Uh, with the OpenAI server, which is the new real-time API, which is on beta. So this is the package that we are using for talking um, with this API assistant through voice. So down the road, it is this part, we are starting listening to the WebSocket server. So the listen methods here, which starts the server on a specific port defined and set up a handler for any new connection. So what is connection? When I show you the UI, that will make more sense. But each time you start chatting through your voice with your data through that UI that I'm gonna show you, it's a connection that you're making from yourself, which is the client, and down to the WebSocket server, which is technically the real-time API of OpenAI. And that's pretty much all. So down the road, we are creating the connection to the OpenAI real-time, and it says that if the connection is there, success. If not, it will throw us back the error message and making sure that you have that here is the, the comp key component part because technically this is the main thing you're using for reacting to, connecting to OpenAI real-time API. Okay, so there are a bunch of other codes. I'm not going through, through all the codes here. Some of them are technically JS-oriented codes for front end some packages for designing the UI, which is not that important for us. But one of the main parts that I'm gonna show you on under source pages, engine, here is actually the code that is using Llama index to create a vector DB out of your data. And obviously it is using your local machine as a storage to create that vector DB. But again, technically you can change that with any vector database you want. And I'm not going to talk about this because in previous videos we already talked a lot about creating vector DB, doing rag stuff with Llama index launching, the same thing. And then you have also the loader that when you ask a question, it will retrieve 11 chunks, get the data back to, to the solution. So in a voice manner, you will get the response back about your data. So now for obviously running this, you need to clone this GitHub repo, npm install, npm run, and npm run dev, that's it. So let me show you my VS code. I think I have it already open here, let me do F3. There you go. So as you can see on my terminal, I have created my OpenAI API key as an environment variable. Obviously, I will delete this API key after recording this video. So make sure you do this before you actually run the solution. And after that, as we discussed, you just need to say npm run uh, dev. I think that's the one actually run this. So let's see. All right, it's running it on my local machine. So let's click on it. There you go. So as you can see, the UI is pretty simple but we have created a solution that I can click on connect and it will start listening to me in a manual mode. That means I have to press a button to start talking or in a real time mode if I click on this, which continuously listen to me without me pressing any button, right? But before I start, I wanna show you the paper actually that I use for um, chatting with it. So here's a paper that I found it pretty interesting. So. I have added this paper under that data folder that I showed you. And now literally I'm expected to talk through my voice with this advanced recent API of OpenAI and ask any question about this paper, okay? So let's give it a try. I wanna click on connect. Let's see if it works. Hello, how can I assist you today? Okay, so I need to push because I'm not using the real time, uh, sorry, the continuous mode. So I, it's a manual mode. And I want to ask about this paper. 
So I want to know more about how we can empower LLMs with graph reasoning ability via prompt augmented by ChatGPT. To empower large language models, LLMs, with graph reasoning abilities, a method called Graph Tool Former has been proposed. This approach integrates API calls of external graph learning tools directly into graph reasoning statements. These API calls, which include the name of the graph learning tool and its parameters, are framed with special tokens for clarity. By using a set of human written prompt examples, ChatGPT helps generate a large data set of language modeling prompts with these API calls. This data set is then used to fine tune pre-trained LLMs like GPTJ. Okay, interesting. So tell me that what is the summary of finding of this paper in a, in a summarized manner? Okay, I was actually recording and for some reason it was generating the answer, but it was not actually uh, telling that loudly with the voice. So what I just did, I just hit enter to refresh the server and now I'm gonna ask the same question again. So I'm resuming recording, let's connect again. Hey there, how's it going? Good, can you tell me what is the summary of the findings of the paper? The paper introduces the graph tool former framework a general framework for academic paper topic reasoning. It incorporates various graph neural network models, including GraphBERT for node classification and SEGBERT for graph instance classification. The framework also includes models for graph partitioning, node clustering, all right, I just click on disconnect. So as you can see that it retrieved a chunk and then verbally started to say that to me. Before to do, before announcing this new API, you had to actually use, let's say, some models that convert your text that you type to, sorry, your voice to text. And sending that text to, let's say, GPT-40, get the answer back through RAG or non-RAG stuff back as a text, and then having another model to convert text to voice and then have the voice generated to answer that. But with this new API, it is like voice to voice. I send the voice, I get the voice back without having all different models uh, stitched together to come up with the solution. So that was just a very quick example, a very simple that we just chat with one single PDF with a voice. But technically the solution to a scale is the same, but with your own data, with your own vector database. And my purpose here was to make sure that you have the awareness about this new API for real time, which I think it's truly amazing and down the road we might have the same thing for vision so these models can see through real-time camera and now they can on real time hear us and answer us and as, as you saw that the, the speed of response was also pretty fast all right that was all about this video if you enjoyed i would be very thankful if you click on like icon and make sure you write down your thoughts in the comment section thanks all at some point all your money and net worth will be useless not due to inflation due to death and when that moment arrives what all you have and all your net worth would be what you have become so dream big my friends believe in yourself and take action till next video take care